Hello everyone, Pretty Scooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Last time, we we kind of fumbled around getting some collectibles after getting our new after abusing our new hat, which gives us a weird double jump of sorts. It's like a 1.01 .01 jump. Anyway, but now with the maps that we have at our disposal, we shall not head off to the Tan Line Island. Which I did say last time, but unfortunately I wasn't lying. This is probably the place I hate the most. Um. All right, fair enough. That's if you feel warm. Like, I actually would like to ask that same question. Where does she get all this energy? It's actually a little disgusting. Anyway. But yes, last time we did get her... We did get a pistol upgrade. Which will... Can abuse, sort of. Ow. Are you about done attacking? Ooh, meat chunklet. Awesome. So with some meat chunklets at our disposal, we can... Oh, right, the archer enemies. So, I have a funny story to, to tell you guys. So you remember... So you remember Brandon, by the way. Back on the, uh, back on Sequin Land. Well, straight up, his sword is down here in this pit. Also, hold on. There's a... No, there's not. There, um, his power-up is down there in that pit. Yeah, his, his, uh, power, his little sword power-up that you have to get for him at some point is down here right below us. But, we cannot use it right now. Or we cannot get to it right now. Boop! Okay. Do you take a bullet to die, or do you, what do you take to die? You know what? Um... We would have find taking this old mummy to the daughter. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Definitely don't worry about it. Just Mega Man your way through the desert, Shantae. <laughs> pew pew, pew 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 pew. That's really all. That's really all. This thing is like it does two damage now, so we have like exponentially increased its damage output. Oh. I didn't mean to hit that. Um, hi, Squid Baron. Speak to relax in the surf. To feel you forgot the surf part, didn't you? Oh, fair enough. Uh. Um, uh, uh, take these x-ray specs. We... Uh, what? Why do you have x-ray specs? I'm actually upset -y. Why did you have x-ray specs? But they can see through anything. Anyway. So, I'm trying to remember how this... Oh. Hello. Never had it so rough. Oh, is this what I was thinking? That we had to use the x-ray specs to see stuff? Oh boy, we might be... We might be venturing to another land here in a second. I don't know what pattern I'm in. I made a pattern. I made a thing. But yeah, I think we actually do have to go back to... At this point, we do have to head back to Sequin Land and go to that statue that I pointed out on, like, the... Or not Sequin Land, I'm sorry. Um, ooh, Bento, Bo Bento Box. What the hell? That's an amazing healing item. You drop that? I'm gonna kill you more often. Um. Anyway. what? I heard you drop something over here. Guess not. But, 
Yeah, we do have to head back and... There we go. We do have to head back and go to that to that thing, or at least go back and see, uh... We have to see Sky. Because we can't enter any place over here without the things the X-ray specs can do. And it's not like talking to one of those three workers is going to fix anything. They all prompt the same thing. So, how about I go ahead and meet you at that little outcropping on Salava Island quick. Saliva. Have I calling it saliva? Well, it is saliva. Yes, English is my first language. How could you tell? Okay, I think this is roughly the point where I can bring you back in now. As soon as I can get rid of these... I'm so tired of you. Just take bullets. I'm out. So I believe we have to use the X-ray specs on this. Science. Hmm. So we have to find these mummy sketches, really, overall. And I guess the next one is actually with Sky. So, oh god. That is not going to work in my favor. This is going to be terrible. Anyway, uh, I'll meet you over there after I struggle with this for about five hours. Okay, so, anyway, now back here in Skeletal, let's go visit Sky and see... Hello. Hi, everybody. Bird jokes. Oh, right, we could have met him last time. Forgot about this. So, yeah, yeah. So, remember Barracuda Joe? Well, apparently this is now a thing. Um, yeah, that thing. Let's not. Have a little come through. Good lord. Oh, I was about to say he's... Well, he's kind of built like a stick. <laughs> it's here. Not schools converted. Large range can. Long range can. Nice. <laughs> I forgot about this conversation. Actually, is actually is entertaining. Dude, you two need to stop. Give it some culture. And there goes Joe. Yeah, I'll fix it. I have a way to fix it, so... So you can see inside of the thing that Sky's dad had. Quick sketch. Mummy sketch part two. And I think we can go talk to Uncle Mimic to get a read on the last. Um... I mean, rock hard like you want him. Abatom Tish! <laughs> oh, double, on t double, triple, and quintuple on Tondra's in that one. Hello, Glimic. I have a question. Not really. Those who are slow, you thorough, collecting your treasure, those who are quickly measuring. Uh, yes? Okay, but can you help? Ah. Uh, I figured he would give me a hit. Okay, but I know there's... There's one more of those somewhere in the world. I might look up a little bit of a guide, because I don't know where it is. It's probably on a... Actually. 
Is it here? I'll go scar around for a little bit, see if I can't find it. I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so I was wrong. This is not this is not specifically where we're gonna find Branson's sword. This is actually where the uh, third mummy is. Oh wow, it's right here. Oh, it's both. The reason why I can't get the sword because those go away after like half a step. Let's see, in the design there is... Let's see, now I have all three pieces of the mummy sketch. And it's always threes. Oh. A fish, lion, fish, huh? Well. That's unfortunate that we have that, but, uh... You know, we're going to report back to Skeleton anyway. Let's first go ahead and handle the uh, temple out here and, pro like I said, probably one of my least like areas in the game. Woo! That's much easier later on. Man, am I glad... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm glad you can just pistol these guys down. Yeah, it's weird. It's like two of the statues would normally be here, but for plot, plot convenience sake, one of them got moved... One of them got moved to Scuttle Town, the other got moved, and one of them is just randomly on saliva. Anyway, what do we got here? Fish, lion, fish. Oh, that's a lion. Get a fish, fish, fish. That's a whale. That's a fish. Fish, lion, fish. The doorway opens, and now begins my eternal suffering. Hello. Uh, I ain't no princess. Thanks, though. Uh, no? Uh, uh you, you got the wrong person. Uh... Uh, no? I don't need, I don't need any of this. I don't want this. And, yeah. We thought it was bad before. It, it's worse. So they took away my items? I think I lost everything. Yeah, I can't even switch screens to go get my items. So, this is the worst segment. I say worst segment. Yeah, like I can't even shoot right now, but I say this is the worst segment because... You now ha you're reduced back to what you were when you started the game, basically, with nothing at your disposal, not even your starting items. Get rid of that. Get rid of you. And hey, guess what you get to do? A forced stealth segment. <sighs> Me and stealth never get along. Luckily, it's uh. Luckily, pirates. Luckily, it's a little bit lenient, and if you know what you're doing, which with like with any stealth game, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy to get through. But you cannot hurt these enemies whatsoever. You cannot hurt these enemies whatsoever. They take zero damage from your attacks, and if they look at you, you're caught. You're thrown right back in the room where you started. Except now we're kind of past the hard point. Also, fun thing is the. Um, I believe Pirate's Curse was in planning, if not almost out. So the fact that you have this costume kind of reflects the timeliness of uh, Rescue's Revenge uh, Director's Edition on Steam and whatnot. In that this outfit is this outfit is basically the one you get for doing. Hello. Oh, a key. Nice. This is the outfit you get when you go through uh, when you play the game in Magic Mode, which means you have. You take double damage, but you also have unending magic meter. Now this part is interesting. Stand in the doorways. I think there is an NPC that says, yo, stand in these doorways and you won't be seen. Which I don't understand it. I don't know, I'm not a game developer. I couldn't tell you how it works. But it's like you have to get uncomfortably close to these guys, get in the perfect spot, 
Oh god. They're a little off sync. I may have goofed it slightly. There we go. Nope. I gotta wait for them to get resynced. Alright. Go now and hope. Oh okay. So yeah, we do have to we do just have to play away in the game. And again, stealth. Me no like you stealth. Like in any regard. But this is also a minor maze. Not like terribly bad, but it's enough that I'm not I don't enjoy myself. Also I don't get to keep that. I think there's a heart squid in here, actually. But the whole point of this maze is you have to free your other... Well, you'll see in a minute, but there's other captives you, have, you do have to free. Heh. <laughs> Aha! And we out. Yeah, some other captives you do have to free throughout, your event, throughout this. And... It doesn't matter which order, but I'll, you'll kind of get an idea of why you have to do it shortly here. After I do a quick save. Even though I should not save in here, I am going to save in here because I don't trust myself. But I'm pretty sure once you see the other captives, you can kind of take a guess who is who. Or how many of these we'll have to do. And I guess if you really want to, you could load a save point if you get caught. Like here for here going forward. Go, thank you. All right, uh, I'm gonna go in here. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Uh, they can climb rope. Huh. Well, I'm gonna get gems. So this is kind of a. This is kind of a money farm area so don't jump on me okay thank you you know I'm doing a very bad job at, at going around this place oh right oh, we do have a map so if this isn't making any sense don't worry didn't make any sense to me either basically there are doors all over this place that have different colors on them and you're supposed to discern those colors and make your way to various cells based on those colors. Oh, hey, Heart Squid. I actually just got lucky on that. I think the other one takes you to that vase, which if I can't get to it, whatever. Yeah. Just can't, just barely too short. Fall through. Yeah? I'm just going to walk at you slowly. But I have two keys. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. <sighs> yep. Sky and... So we got Sky and Roddy Tops. We got basically every single lady friend in the series. <sighs> yeah, we do. Okay, you you can keep that. I don't know why you would keep that. Good lord. It's like... Alright, I don't have my lamp, so I can't... I can't suck up enemies. Hi, Sky. Well, you seem to be managing Sky. But basically, there is a large thing we have to open down below. Oh, by the way, these guys don't, these guys don't care. All these all these people do not care that you're walking about freely, as weird as that sounds. Uh, the way out is just over here. We basically have to have everybody jump on this rope to open it, to open the door out. So, yeah. Good lord. Like, hit! Is that a necessary thing? Oh, that's how I get back to my cell. Well, at least I have a shortcut out now. But yeah, this is... I'll finish my thought because I keep, can't seem to keep the thought long enough. Good lord, please allow them to put on something. Because... 
We'd be better off walking around stark naked at this point. It's gotta be cold as hell. Desert doesn't stay warm all the time. It gets to be like one of the coldest places in the world at night. Hello? Did I go in something? No, I didn't. I did here. Without whipping my hair, I got in here. What the? Game broke. <laughs> Why does me standing up break things? Shantae, you got you got a you got a steel plate in your head or something? Is that what's doing it? Anyway, I have to find I have to find one more key in order to break out someone. I'm sure we'll see them when we go there. What is? What was that just flashed across the screen over there? Tell me that was one of those NPCs, or one of those enemies, quote unquote enemies. Okay, that's a door we couldn't go in before. And I think that's the only heart squid in here too that we got, so fall down. And I'm gonna whip the wall at any land, at every landing point, because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. All right, this key. This key is just not fun. Oh, actually it is. Getting back out is the fun part. There we go, last key. This is actually going faster than I thought it would. I'm happy, actually. And I happen to actually also get the hearts, the one heart squid here on the first go-around. I never have to come back in this room! Also, whee! Can we not? Hi! I'm here! Yeah, sure, come back up. Anyway, let's head back out to the main hall so we can be done with this. Good lord. I've already said my piece on the attire and everything. Although I am going to... Before we go in this door here, I'm going to take a quick cut to the right. Because I want to make sure... There's nothing I, There's nothing I can do over here. Haha, there is something I can do over here. It's money! Delicious legal tender! Now think up there. Let's see. Yep, up there and to the right is just a, another loot. Is just to do this. Which also I'm going to finish filling in this map here quick if I can. So fill in this middle. Oh, I can't get over far enough to finish filling in. Never mind. I'm not going. On. I'm not going in there. You can keep your map completion. It's literally nothing. Like an extra thirty ruples at best. I'm gonna go finish this area because I despise it. This is like the. This is like like the one jarring. This is like the one huge, jarring, bad mark on the game is this segment right here. Otherwise, it's all good. Well, hi, Roddy. I see that you uh, decided to be adventurous for once. I said Roddy. I meant Risky. Go me. Same. Okay, well, the troops are gathered. With the troops gathered, <laughs> with our combined might of 13 pounds. God, I'm making a bunch of social statements today. We can pull this cord. Uh... Um. How pull? You are already on it. How pull when you're already putting all your weight on it? I'm confused. Well, Roddy knows how to get what she wants. Not Roddy. Risky. God damn it. I keep doing that. Everybody has an R name. I'm set. I'm mad. Why do you want to use a fan dance? I shouldn't ask. Anyway, I'll move on ahead. See what the sitch, sitch is. Oh. Hi. That is... Not anybody here. Not even close. You... I'm sorry. Just... 
I'm with ri uh, Risky on this one. Oh. What? This, the, I'm just as mad. She got a loaf of bread. Okay, several things wrong with this. She went out and got a loaf of bread from the looks of it. Maybe there's a can of soup in there. I don't know. But she went to the store for 30 minutes for bread. Not only in her journey to get a loaf of bread, did somehow the coins then, then forget what she looks like in the first place with source material. They f screwed it up. Trying to watch my words. Four times. That is an average... That's an average of screwing up seven once every seven minutes, and we're gonna go once every and we're gonna give them the benefit that it takes them at least a minute and a half to put everybody in a cell. So six minutes every six minutes they screwed it up when they weren't doing anything else. So box. <laughs> at least I got a golden pickaxe. And everybody can leave and readjust. I have to go back in long enough to get the cackle bat here. But, thankfully because of everything we opened up, we can just literally walk right in. Right up to the, where the cackle bat is. Smite it, gather its soul, and leave. And thankfully it's stuck in the cell so it can't attack us. I'm so glad we got everything on the first time around here. I actually hate this place. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Come back next time when we will go, we will give the golden pick, pickaxe to its rightful recipient and proceed to the Den of Evil from there. You all have a great rest of your day and take care.